of the Criminal Justice uh, Committee uh, in the Judiciary Committee and the really uh, spark behind this bill uh, two years ago and uh, this year, Sheila Jackson Lee, I will yield to her, but let me just say a few words and Sheila, I'm going to speak on the floor. I know you've been on the floor as well. You saw the passion uh, demonstrated uh, by a victim of domestic violence. Now, whether or not the violence was de delivered to her personally or to her parent, and she was in fear, as she said, of her mother's life. Now, this is a pandemic in America. Uh, it is a lethal pandemic in America. It is a psychological trauma in America. The House is about to pass a long-term reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act which is previously blocked by Senate Republicans, sadly. It was then Senator Biden, of course, who wrote this original VAWA in 1994. I was a co-sponsor of that bill in 1994. Sheila, were you a co-sponsor of that? Right, came right after You that. came right after that. I was a co-sponsor in 1994 of the Violence Against Women Act. President Biden is ready to sign this bill, and I hope the Senate will act on it quickly so he can do so. VAWA has always been bipartisan. We passed and reauthorized VAWA on a bipartisan basis in 94, 2000, 2005, and 2013. It was disappointing that after the House passed a bipartisan reauthorization of last Congress, the Republican-led Senate refused to take action, even after it was clear that incidents on domestic violence were increasing during the pandemic. Now, when I say they refused to take action, they didn't take up the bill and amend it and then send it over to us or ask for a conference. They just ignored it. They apparently took the position that violence against women is not important enough for us to take up and consider the bill. You didn't, they didn't have to take our bill. What they had to do was address a pandemic of violence against women in America. So disappointing. In my state of Maryland, court records indicate that there were 3,244 protective orders in place in April of 2019. Women who were in danger. However, in April 2020, amid the lockdowns to protect against COVID-19, that number had dropped to 470. Now, my immediate response as I read that and looked up, dropped to 470. It dropped to 470 because women were not able to make their complaints in the lockdown period. Not because they got less. In fact, they got worse. We need to enact the broader protections. Excuse me, let me give you this. In, it rose again to 4,116 in June after the lockdown was listed, lifted. This has been called a pandemic within a, in a pandemic. I've said that a couple of times now. We need to enact the broader protections that are included in this bill to help victims of domestic violence if we are serious about addressing this crisis. I expect today that we will see another bipartisan vote, and I hope that the Senate will act without delay. I know Leader Schumer will bring it to the floor. It will not languish unattended. As President Biden said the other day about reauthorizing VAWA, this should not be a Democratic or Republican issue. It's a matter of justice and compassion. And I would add to that awareness. I want to thank Representative Jackson Lee for leading this charge. And I want to thank Chairman Nadler and members of the Judiciary Committee for their work. Last Congress and again now to ensure that more people are protected under this reauthorization. Now, as I said at the beginning, I am pleased to yield to and introduce a fighter for justice for all of her life and certainly all of her career in the Congress of the United States, a giant on behalf of civil rights human rights, and the rights of women and all other vulnerable peoples, Sheila Jackson Lee of Texas.